I guess Christians shouldn't vote for Trump any longer. Is Trump finished? Have you heard the news? Trump photographed with Diddy. That's right. Sean Diddy Combs, the Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. The rapper, the one who's been arrested for human trafficking and all types of vicious, egregious charges. Sean Diddy Combs uh, is going to have to stew in jail as he awaits a sex a trafficking a trial, a judge refusing to grant him bail. The one whom celebrity pastors like T.D. Jakes were around. God is a God of no compromising. That's true. And if you compromise, you're just like the world. That's right. That's why you find T.D. Jakes hanging That's out right. with Puff Daddy. Yeah. And now Trump. What's going on? Trump must be part of the same club. So the leftist media is going crazy over this and they're laughing and they're bringing up old clips, old photos. Jimmy Kimmel's over here saying, yeah, Trump said I was friends with Diddy. And now posts like Gina's are encouraging Christians simply not to vote. Why? Because guilt through photo. So today I'm going to give you three truths why Trump is not guilty by association of photograph. And I'm gonna encourage you to be a good logical thinker and think through these issues. Could it be that the leftist goal is to get Christians who are naive and easily offended is to get them to keep their voice quiet? Well, let's talk about it. the channel Truth For You, where lies come to die a slow and painful death. And today we're talking Trump, Diddy, throwing a little Epstein in there too. So if you're unfamiliar, Sean Diddy Combs, um, Puff Daddy, is a very famous multi-millionaire rapper who has really influenced a lot of these celebrity and woke people. He's rubbed shoulders with them all. I won't go into detail, but he's had these crazy parties and these uh, Apparently, things that happen in Hollywood, you know what I mean. He's been arrested and held without bail because he's been doing human trafficking and a lot of other things. I'll try to firebomb a car, multiple egregious crimes. He's in the same camp as Epstein, trafficking young girls, Epstein Island, the typical swamp, the typical Hollywood elite. And I'm trying to be careful with my words because YouTube loves to flag certain words and uh, loves to, you know, take down conservative videos. So we had Trump with Epstein. Now we have Trump with Diddy. These people are so hypocritical, they're not showing, who's that? They're not showing Obama with Diddy. So I appreciate Puff Dan for, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing. Hillary Clinton with Diddy. Kamala promoting Diddy. And that's right, like, remember when Diddy said this about President Trump? White men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking, it's real dangerous. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, we don't have no choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can say what you want about Biden. I, I, I can't say I love to pick either, but hey, we got to get him in office. Yeah, it sounds like Trump's really in his club, right? But what gets me about these never Trumper Christians is that they're going to tell you to keep your mouth shut, to not vote, to not use your freedom that was paid for in blood to make a difference in the government. You know, Jesus called us to be light and salt of the earth. They're gonna say, be silent, because it's all part of one bad party. It's all evil. And they're gonna tell you to stick your head in the sand and not do anything. And that makes me angry, because that is the last thing Jesus would call Christians to do. Christians are supposed to speak the truth. No matter how unpopular, we're to speak the truth. And first of all, the truth is, that we're not guilty by association. Now, first glance, we might say, whoa, this is terrible. Look at these photos. Look at him saying he and Diddy are friends. This is crazy. He had photos with Epstein. What's going on? It must be a conspiracy theory, right? Well, when I brought Gina these three truths that I'm gonna tell you, uh, she immediately blocked me. It sort of shows that uh, maybe people haven't thought this all the way through. When you make a statement and when you encourage people not to vote, 
You better have evidence and you better be holding to the truth. So today, let's talk about the three truths. Truth number one, Trump was not trying to get in with the Hollywood celebrities and the elitists. Hollywood celebrities and elitists have been trying to get in with President Trump. The Post assumes that whenever we see photographs with Trump and these famous people, that he's sort of following them like... Excuse me. Yes. Can I have your autograph? Uh, sure. But that's not what reality shows. Long before Trump was president, Hollywood elites respected him and wanted to get to know him. They wanted to be in his circle of friends. Why? Because he's extremely successful. Ask Dana White, the founder of MMA, mixed martial arts. Venues didn't even want us. And we ended up doing, you know, our first event in Atlantic City at the Trump Taj Mahal. Now think about this, at that time, Trump brand here, UFC brand, I can't go low enough. Any good thing that would ever happen to me in my career, Trump would reach out. This guy's been, been great to me. I consider Donald Trump to be one of my very, very good friends. World-renowned athletes like Iron Mike Tyson. He's not inviting Trump over to his house. He's longing to go over to Trump's house. Trump is the man. Trump is the man. He has this fan base. He has his supporters. And they're going to stick with him to the end. I had dinner with him a week ago. In Mar-a-Lago? Yes, where were you? in Mar-a-Lago. How was that? That was awesome. Me, him, Baron, and his mother. And it was just off the hook. Baron, he's so smart. Remember Oprah? Fawning over Trump. I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you Would you ever? But I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country. The View. Donald Trump is a billionaire, a real estate mogul, and a television star. But does he really want to add president of the United States to his resume? A lot of people would like him to. Please, let's find out and please welcome my friend, Donald Trump. <laughs> Movies. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. The media, Hollywood, they were wanting more of Trump. Donald Trump. Uh, thank you. Wow. It is my esteemed pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Donald Trump. Thanks. Hey, you know, you look much richer in person. <laughs> hey, Mr. Trump. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Will Smith. And then something happened. And this gets me to truth number two. Hollywood elites, the stars, the media, turned viciously on Trump. What happened? Well, Trump went from beloved celebrity to hated personality. They've made up lies. New York Times and CNN shared a story with photos of immigrant children in cages. It turns out the photos were from 2014, during the Obama administration. In December 2018, NBC reported Trump was the first president since 2002 not to visit the troops at Christmas time. But Trump actually left the White House on Christmas to visit troops in Iraq. In November 2019, Newsweek falsely reported that President Trump was spending Thanksgiving golfing in Florida. He was actually in Afghanistan serving dinner to U.S. troops. Time incorrectly reported that President Trump had removed the bust statue of Martin Luther King Jr. from the Oval Office. That false news went viral. TMZ reported Trump had changed the name Black History Month to African American History Month, implying the change was racist. In fact, it turns out Presidents Obama, George W. Bush, and Clinton all called Black History Month African American History Month. Also, the Washington Post reported on the cabinet battle over Trump's immigration order. The article was repeatedly updated to note that one of the reported meetings did not actually occur. A conference call did not happen as described in the article and actions attributed to Trump were actually carried out by his chief of staff. And the New York Times reported on supposed contacts between Trump campaign staff and senior Russian intelligence officials. FBI Director James Comey later testified it was not true. That report by the New York Times was not true. Is that a fair statement? In the main, it was not true. In May, the BBC and The Guardian reported because Trump wasn't wearing headsets, he didn't bother to listen to the translation of a speech by Italy's prime minister. Per lo sviluppo dell'Africa. 
But Trump was wearing his earpiece in his right ear, as always, said the White House. CNN and ABC falsely reported that FBI Director Comey was going to refute Donald Trump's claim that Comey told Trump three times he wasn't under investigation. Instead, Comey confirmed Trump's claim under oath. It appears that you actually volunteered that assurance. Is that correct? That's correct. The New York Times said a hypothetical family's tax bill would rise nearly $4,000 under Trump's tax plan. It turns out their taxes would actually go down $43. ABC aired video purportedly showing a slaughter and horrific report of atrocities against Kurds by Turkey after President Trump withdrew U.S. troops. This video right here appearing to show Turkey's military bombing Kurd civilians in a Syrian border town. But the video was file tape of a training video in the U.S. They've sued him. They've used lawfare. And now a multiple attempts to end his life. What changed? Well, certainly not because he's in their circle. Logically, we must consider this fact. It points to Trump being a threat. And why? Well, he's unashamedly talked about Christ. John was in and out of jail for years until at age 38, he was arrested for bank robbery. You don't look like a bank robber, John. <laughs> it's come a long way. John soon ended up in federal prison, relegated to solitary confinement. That's where God found him. John began to read the Bible and listen to Christian radio, right? Incredible. One morning at 2 a.m., he woke up to the voice of the great Billy Graham. Reverend Graham's words came through the airwaves. Jesus wants to be Lord of your life. That night, John dedicated his life to Christ. He spent the rest of his time in prison praying, studying the Bible, and bringing the Lord to his fellow inmates. To remember the suffering and death of God's only Son and His glorious resurrection on the third day. On Easter Sunday, we proclaim with joy, Christ is risen. Both of these sacred celebrations remind us that God's love redeems the world. Almost 3,000 years ago, the prophet Isaiah wrote, Darkness covers the earth, but the Lord rises upon you, and His glory appears over you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light. In America, we look to the light of God to guide our steps. We trust in the power of the Almighty for wisdom and strength. And we praise our Heavenly Father for the blessings of freedom and the gift of eternal life. And our country needs a Savior right now, and our country has a Savior. And that's not me. That's somebody much higher up than me. <laughs> much higher up. We just do what we have to do. But the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ forever changed the world. It's impossible to think of the life of our own country without the influence of his example and of his teachings. Our miraculous founding, overcoming civil war, and uh, the United States ultimately becoming a truly great nation. And we're going to keep it that way. We're going to keep it that way. We're not going to let it go. We're not going to let it go. But none of this could have ever happened without Jesus Christ and his followers and his church. None of it. And we have to remember that Jesus Christ is the ultimate source of our strength and of our hope. Is he perfect? No. Nope. Are you? Am I? No. Nope. But he's talked about Christ from a public platform. And that is not going to get you in on Hollywood. Trump exposes their club. This is why Diddy 
hated Trump. He's doing what he's always said he would do, and that is drain the swamp. Similar thing happened with someone called uh, Ronald Reagan, beloved Hollywood actor, star. What happened? Was hated because he started being conservative. This is how it always goes. Truth number three. Our Christian Republic was founded upon this Christian principle. Innocent until proven guilty. Not guilt by association, guilt because you hate someone, or guilt because of Facebook photo and conspiracy post. No. You see, our founding fathers understood key Bible verses such as Philippians 2.3, in humility count others more significant than yourselves. They knew Jesus' command in John 7.24, do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. The Bible is filled with God's disdain toward people who use unjust weights and measurements, unjust justice. God says in Amos, I want your justice to flow like rivers in the streets. But is this just what Christians are doing? To blindly judge and label Trump as being in the same circle because of old photographs that they don't know the context of? Well, of course not. And notice, I'm not saying we shouldn't judge. We should judge. But the difference is we should judge rightly, not with bias. Ironically, a Christian is supposed to understand grace. You know, that ability for Jesus to change your heart into something new, uh, to leave the old behind, become the new person. And for these Christians, these never Trumpers, to, to put them into the same camp as everybody else without any evidence is a disgrace. Now let me bring some evidence to you. Now remember Diddy being caught doing human trafficking? When President Trump was in office, he gave the death penalty for human trafficking. Does that sound like the same set of values between these two people? Of course not. Same with Epstein. Long before Epstein was exposed, Trump barred him from his Mar-a-Lago estate. The Clintons didn't, Obama didn't, Oprah didn't. And this is something that people, again, do not speak on. They don't bring that truth into the conversation. And by people, I mean Christians. Christians that I know that are refusing to vote because they're holding on to a lie that's deceiving them into keeping their voice silent instead of using their voice for good, for righteousness, for being light and salt of the earth as Jesus commands us. People like Gina are unable to admit that God does change people from their past and God does use imperfect people in leadership, even yes, godly leadership. Just ask King David. You know, um, being used as a leader after his affair, his murder, his cover up for a year, all his family troubles and everything that went down. I'd say a lot of Christians would Definitely, if they were living in that time, they would say, this isn't of God. God certainly cannot be using King David. Look at all this problems and all the problems in his family. Yet it absolutely was God's plan to use David. And God was able to work through all David's sins and shortcomings and still bring glory and truth to a nation. Proverbs 29.2 says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when a wicked man rules, the people groan. Never Trumper Christians fall into the trap of judging before the time, judging without righteous judgment, and of course, abdicating their God-given responsibility to be light and salt in the earth. They refuse to even attempt to look at Trump's record of supporting life in the womb, overthrowing Roe v. Wade back to the States, which wasn't done in over 50 years of politics not starting any new wars where hundreds of thousands of people are dying, um, protecting our borders, protecting our religious freedoms, increasing the economy, defeating ISIS, defending Israel, providing peace with some of our greatest enemies that have wanted to destroy America. All of this happened under Trump and the people rejoiced. And what happened when Biden and Kamala came into power? Well, every one of those things was reversed and the people are groaning. So don't be discouraged because of some photos without context. You must seek the truth and God will help you, but don't be like Gina because conspiracy theorists, naive Christians get caught up into the trap of being silenced and allowing evil to thrive. And that's a shame.